Hey guys and girls, this is Andrew here, Best Fleet Service. Today's quick tip on AutoTech 210 on how to replace the transmission filter kit on a 2009 Ford Ranger. 2.3 liter, we got the truck number 11556 for O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Delivery trucks, we're going to go ahead and get this one out. And let's get started. So we have an 18 bolt pan gasket here, 18 bolts. Once you open the package up, you're going to get two seals. Put these two seals on here to get it prepped. Alrighty. So once we have the vehicle lifted, jacked up and secured here, we're going to go ahead and take off those 18 bolts, which, were, which are 10 millimeter bolts. So we have our air ratchet here with an extension, 10 millimeter socket, and we got our drain pans here. So go all the way around this thing. Try and leave one bolt at the side on the left and one bolt on the right, that way you guys can still keep it up while you get all the other screws off. All right, try to be careful when you're messing with this filter when you take it off. It should be the same eight millimeter bolt, only one bolt right there in the center. Take that off, and it'll pop right off. Try not to touch any sensors or anything else. There's a bunch of wiring and solenoids you don't want to mess with. Don't want that to happen, but it did. Kind of remember where it goes. The big circle, little circle. You don't want to do it too tight. So now we're gonna prep this pan, remove this cork gasket, put on that rubber one, and then we're gonna clean this magnet. This magnet does have metal shavings in there, which is usually a clear indication of some transmission issues. So we'll address those accordingly as they come up. For now, we'll just go ahead and do this maintenance. Sure, all the edges are clean. All right, it doesn't have to be spick and span just so much as long as you get this magnet here cleaned up, full of the metal shavings. And the gasket, it's gonna have this lip over. So in case you're not sure how the gasket goes, it's gonna have this lip on there. All right, so this gasket only goes on one way, okay? The holes have to match up. So if it's backwards or 
upside down, it's going to be wrong. So make sure you have the holes lined up. And a little quick tip within a tip. I like to put some gasket maker on here to hold the rubber gasket in place. Sometimes you'll get a have trouble putting that on. So this will kind of hold it in, in place for you while you mount the pan. So once you get enough on there, go ahead and apply that gasket. All right, so that's the way it should look. Nice and clean on there. Now let's go ahead and put this on. Put a couple screws on by hand first, and we can tighten them up. So here's another tip, you guys. When I was under the car, I actually, with my hand, I did an arrow here. So this indicates the front of the vehicle. That way I know which way the pan's going, so I can put it back the way I took it off. So that's another tip you guys want to mark it before you pull it off. If you guys didn't get a chance to mark it, it has this lip up there, so you'll be able to see which way it goes. So when you tighten these up, you're gonna to wanna to do a crisscross pattern. So do one on the other side of the left here, and then another on the right, another left, another right, another left. So keep alternating the bolts, and then you're gonna to wanna to hand tighten. You don't wanna over tighten, because then you'll bend the pan and then it'll start leaking. So try not to over tighten the pan. Just kind of do quarter turns, quarter turns once it's completely screwed in. All right, so we're putting one of the last ones here by hand. We're gonna go ahead and use an air ratchet to zap them just until they hit the pan. Right after that, you're gonna to wanna to stop and then we'll just do them by hand. You don't wanna over tighten. Just barely, you want to barely do it. Just right. Just barely to it touches and then you do the rest by hand. Once we get it tight enough all the way around, we're going to do them by hand. So once you get them all with the ratchet, you can just do a couple quarter turns. And that gasket maker we put on there kind of helps us know when it's tight enough. You don't want to over tighten. Like I said, you guys will start spilling out again here. You don't want that. So quarter turns all the way around and you should be good. And then you go ahead and top it all off. Hope this tip was helpful. This quick tip brought to you by Auto Tech 210 and Best Fleet Service. Alright, so on this 09 Ford Ranger 2.3, we're using Valvoline Max Life ATF Dex Merc. It's a combination of Dexron and Merc on here. We're pouring it inside the transmission dipstick tube and this should only take about four quarts sometimes it takes four and a half maybe five you want to start the vehicle and keep uh, shifting gears that way you make sure all the transmission fluids pouring through all the fluids all the lines once you shift gears and stuff you should be ready to go you want to check the fluid level with the vehicle on sorry about the compressor but that should be everything guys this quick tip brought to you by Autotech 2.0. I hope this was helpful. You guys have a great day.